Hello, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2021 review, and this of which is on Hogwarts Fluffy's Encounter Quarters. So on the front of the box here you see LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, Visiting World logo of course, and that interesting border that's new for this wave of course, and LEGO Harry Potter 20 years of course, and all the mini figs included there. And age recommendations 8 and up. Set number 76387 has 394 seven pieces. And then on the back side, see a different arrangement of this set, of course, and also all the different features of it. And those uh, collectible wizard cards included. And yeah. Now onto the, the manual. Same pictures on the front and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then add for the wizarding cards, which are randomly included with each set, of course. And build and swap with both the bathroom and the a chamber secret sets of course which I am also reviewing and then the last steps of course uh, hang on so first of all for the, uh, for the mini things so we get just our main basic trio which in their Gryffindor attires, of course, as suiting to this whole sequence in the film, of course. And also, and where's the face prints, so which quite the same as we've had before, but at least kind of the same as the ones from the from the girls' bathroom set in this wave, but which were for Slytherin, but these ones are for Gryffindor, of course. And face prints also or back face prints which also the same from 20 uh, 18 through 20 and that's about it there and last of which is golden Hermione green and that's the like the hair piece everything all in gold and but the torso print face print done well of course and of course base piece as the or collectible minifig base plate piece also in gold but also like these other ones and back torso print just 20 years lego harry potter of course kind of like just like we did two years ago with 20th anniversary lego star wars of course And, yeah. and next to which are the two uh, wizard card tiles. And this one of which uh, hang on. We get Zephyria Picori from Fantastic Beasts. And also uh, hang on. Also, the Nerva McGonagall, of course, of which also done quite well, but these are which came with my copy of the set, but yours could vary, of course. And next to which, for the builds, of which is our own new version of Lucky the dog, of course. Well, to describe it, then I say, which in this brick build form done pretty well. At least mix of like regular brown, dark brown, with a standout of lightish gray, but at least it can be forgiven. And as for the main head pieces, which do have different expressions on all of them, so you have one with an open, scared mouth, one that is a bit of both, of course, and one that is asleep to, of course, represent when Fluffy is in his section asleep, of course. 
Yes, and also as for the back part of which, as you see, it does have those kind of pieces used for the fur, like we've seen with the UCS Porg, of course. And also the tail, which does have a little bit of posability, of course, both side to side and up and down, of course. And as for the arms, which do are on clicketed type of joints with those rounded uh, pe brick pieces, this, but in black, used for feet, of course. And of course, all four legs do swivel up and down in both ways, of course. And also, as for comparison, for the only other fluffy we ever had, which was this one that came in the 2001 Forbidden Corridor set, of course. Which, as you see, it's one solid figure, and this is a brick built figure, of course. And all three heads work just the same, but which couldn't open up all the way. And of course, it had just two single studs on the back, but newer version, a few different studs, of course. And not at all any movement with this one, of course. But you know, at least it's great difference, despite the non-movement in the mouths, of course. And so, as for this section of clock work, or the main build, of course. And you wonder, like, shouldn't the devil's snare be underneath the course? Well, yes, but unless if you had another set next to it, of course, and, or as on the back of the box, it did kind of represent a different version of this, of course. But luckily, it is somewhat modular, like... Which we'll look at all these sections by, one by one, of course. So we'll start out with this main section, which of course is the room of Fluffy, of course. Oh, and also the rooftop, which also removable, which as you can see does have a couple of bar pieces that hold a couple of candles on top of it, and also with this does have sand green roof pieces, just like the original 2001 uh, and 2 uh, Hogwarts sections, of course, and also that as well. Just pay a good homage to it. Although some people would be modifying, put these in dark gray rep to match in with the 2018 through 20 arrangement ones, of course. And also do you get the uh, dark brown or dark tan uh, tiles and jumpers, of course, to fit both this rooftop and, of course, other Hogwarts sections, of course. And as you saw when I disconnected it, it has a place to put pins into, of course. And also those archway pieces, like we've seen with the Polyjuice uh, mistake set, of course. And as for the other section of which, see, just three of those like castle section pieces with stickers representing other bricks of it on it and of course nexo knight's shield piece and with the sticker of the hogwarts logo of course and as for the floor part of which is of course the trap door that fluffy lies on of course which leads down into the devil's snare of course and speaking of which, get this other section that is just the Devil's Snare, even though which is three of these uh, odd pieces in black, which not sure why black, but I think it would have been better if one of them was in dark green, since of course the Devil's Snare original version kind of was like that. And of course behind him is a large bone piece, probably represent other things that it ate up, of course. And also do get those odd bricks above in lightish in light gray, of course. And some more holes for probably to connect with the Chamber of Secrets set, of course. And see little ugly rock piece and different sections of which to represent the lower part of Hogwarts, of course. 
Oops, and what else is there? Not much, but what of course. And onto this other section of which which as you see has oh which, which they got right this time around. Which of course has this uh, let me get that out. Okay. Which holds mostly this unique mini bill for the harp piece, which has one of those fin pieces with a clear sticker represent the strings, of course. But of course, in the film, it's mostly a harp that puts fluffy, as fluffy asleep. But in the books, it was a flute that is. But quite glad they did this as well. Although it would have been nice if they also included the flute piece representing both methods, of course. And for this other section, there's barely much of anything except for this piece that was probably also in the Disney Princess sets, of course, and different torches to the side, and also some more tiles and jumpers, of course, to put the roof part on top, of course. And for the other section, not much, but yeah. about it for that and as for the this rooftop section of course get kind of this bow droid headpiece or astromech droid headpiece and also as I zoom in which as you can see have a couple of clear stickers above representing different spells and things of course and also do get this clear minifig headpiece which does have some good prints all around it probably representing a jar of something and of course the traditional candle piece and also trans purple uh, cone with a diamond on top and from the back part of which just a basic large cone piece and a couple others and also you get this jagged one that like we've seen in some later castle themes of course probably nexo knights and things and how you arrange this well as according to the instructions where Connect these two like that. This one on top, and then that, of course. But although, if you have the other uh, Hogwarts sets, of course, you can do whatever you want, arrange it however you want, of course. And so now, on to the final verdict on this example. Please. Overall, this I think a quite cool set for what it brings. Like, first, very first new version of Fluffy, of course, and Golden Hermione, of course, and of course, the harp that is used to put Fluffy asleep. And of course, do get a kind of smallish version of the Devil Snare, but I can kind of forgive it. Although, I think that could work out as another set, of course. Well, but also, of course. Well, do kind of like how the fluffy fig came out for like both awake and asleep, of course. And at least, but also a good uh, value for the price, of course. And uh, what else? Well, um, but of course, it has a few good additions for this new uh, Hogwarts arrangement system, of course. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to expand your Hogwarts display, also definitely pick it up. And that's uh, it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.